So why did you sign up? Um, I can't. I can't really give you a better answer other than it just felt the right thing to do. Yeah. Uh, gut. I, I'm. I'm. I'm a gut kind of person, and and it the gut was just told me when the opportunity was was talked about at the board meetings. I thought uh, I've got to understand far better. Um, the issues that black and ethnic minority people face in 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 the UK, and and how me as a governor, how I can change some of the things I do to try and make life better for students at John Moores University. So, yeah. but you've got two heads, haven't you? Really? Yes. Well, yeah, yeah. You know, so uh, that must have really impacted. Uh, it, it it did, uh, and and you know. Having been on the journey with with Habby and it's been fantastic, um, it, it, it's helped me not only think about what I should think and do in the future, it's also helped me reflect on some of the things I've done in the past. I like that reflection. Um, and for you, Habby, why did you sign up? Well, I think when I first heard, oh, we get a chance to mentor executive leaders, I was like, yes, it's find the people that will listen. Um, because I think I'm as person, I I get very affected, I say, yeah. by like, I'm a student, I do my little degree, so there's not, like, I don't have really access to the big stage or to the people that make the decision. Whereas with this project, we do, and I was like, yes, that sounds good. And then the second thought was, okay, I think most likely people will sign up for it that are genuinely interested in changing for the better. And I was like, Instead of me trying to talk the ear of someone that's not really ready to uh, to listen or is not really aware of that there being an issue, let me go and talk to someone that's willing to. And it's like, yeah, yeah, I'm happy. I'm happy to have like uncomfortable conversation like Gary was. So if I'm making the work and making the effort to come and teach you, then I'm happy that it's with a person that says, you know what, I'm, 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 I know I'm not perfect, but I'm here, I'm ready to learn. And that was, that's what... Yeah, I think that was my main reason. Yeah. And Gary, what about you? What do you feel that um, was the biggest, the biggest lesson for you? It's very difficult to pick one because yeah. the, there's, be, there's been so many. Um, Give me all but, of them then. Well, <laughs> so, so, so the, the thing that, that stuck in my mind was, was um, the, uh, af, after the intro, intro following the workshop, you came to the office and, um, and we sat down and, and Harvey said, right, here's a piece of paper. I've got the same piece of paper and, and there's, there's, there's 12 types of person listed on that piece of paper. Yeah. And I'm going to give you, give you some colored pencils and I'd like you uh, to fill in the matrix and, and use a different colored pencil yeah. um, for the different type of ethnicity that of, of person that you've encountered in, in your life. And it was like primary school teacher, secondary school teacher, doctor, dentist. You know, so, so, and we both had the same list and, and I filled in my matrix. Um, and I, I'd used two different coloured pencils. Habby filled in her matrix and she'd used about eight different <laughs> coloured pencils. And it just demonstrated the difference in, um, in, in lifestyles and upbringing and encounters with, with different um, uh, eth ethnic groups and diversity and cultures. That um, Habby wasn't doing it to make me feel uncomfortable or apologise the fact that, you know, I'd been brought up in pretty much pure whiteness. Yeah. Um, it was just helping me realise that perhaps that then set, say, a view, an unconscious view of the world that, that my previous 57 years has established a, a particular view. And, and, and Habby's has got a completely different view because she's got much more diverse background yeah. and friends. Habby, is there anything you'd like to ask Gary? Mmm... I'd like to ask, how was the experience um, for you? Um, and have you thought about taking this on, like in your life, maybe starting something at work or doing something with that experience you now gathered and how you're gonna, you know, rebuttal and give it back? <laughs> <laughs> um, it, how was it? Uh, absolutely fantastic, and, and that's down to you and TK and Angelica. And, and uh, so, uh, uh, what am I going to do with it? Uh, well, I've already uh, pushing Andrea Callender, who's who's our diversity champion in the business, um, to think about a reciprocal mentoring program within Arab. Um, uh, 
because again, following Black Lives Matter within within Arab, you know, we we had an intensive period of activity and speakers and and a very open conversations where where our our, our own staff, um, black and ethnic minority, minority staff, told their story very honestly, very openly, um, and um, and and so I I think this this is. Uh, so important that, that white people get the opportunity to have honest conversations, to really get under the skin of, of, of um, the, um, the challenges that black and ethnic minority people feel every day. The other challenge Habi's given me uh, and, and, and the, the team who are part of it is, so if we come back in three years to the university, what difference will we see? Yeah. And that's the real challenge. And is there anything you would like to ask Habi? Um, lots, but, <laughs> I, I, but 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 I guess um, you know the 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 important thing for me is is um, you've you've really helped me. How I helped you, and in what way? Yes, I think you've kind the biggest help that you gave me is hope as as, as cringy as it sounds it's not cringy <laughs> hope is never cringy. cringy yeah no but hope that there are people out there that are not necessarily black but genuinely want to understand in the times where everything is so dark and so painful sometimes it takes that you know that little bit of hope that okay there's good people out there that make you feel better so i think yeah that's the biggest yeah, just everything. I love it. <laughs> Give me a Kleenex. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. I can't even, there's nothing else I can ask because I feel like I've been on this journey for some crazy reason because speaking to all of you has, again, has given me hope um, because it's such a, a powerful um, program. There's a sense, there's a different vibration of change. You know, so I definitely think that um, in three years we will see change. So, yeah, oh, thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Great to talk with you.